back and I am sorry for being gone for so long. But I promise I will make it up to you guys with this episode. I'm going to try and make it long. Don't know how that's going to turn out. But we're just going to hop right into it. Oh yeah, this is where she was like super close to us. So let's find out why. Did I fall asleep? I think I fell asleep. I think that's where we kind of left off. I don't know. Okay. What? I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. I did fall asleep. That really sounds like me. It's kind of typical. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? <laughs> not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret! I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I rub my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either, and there's toothpaste stain on the, your collar right here. <sighs> I try to wipe the stain off with my fingers. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you haven't, haven't, speak English? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. I didn't sign up for this. Did did you sign up for this? I don't I don't think I but <clears throat> um <laughs> It is funny, okay. I don't oh my god. Okay, cool. Cool 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 cool. This it's cool. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I, I guess... Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I finally closed the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? <laughs> okay. Wow. It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway. You look so much better now, so... Uh, why, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ugh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. 
Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? That was me. Wrong voice. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't have let you do things like this. Did I read that right? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. And you take care of me better than any else would anyway. <laughs> so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I, I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Jasmine, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah. Same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I could... I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I despise composition notebooks. I hate when a teacher's like, you have to have composition, not spiral. Because why? Why? I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. I show my poem to first. I have to pick. Do I get to show the others too? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna pick. Yuri. It's already picked. It's picked. It's picked. Yeah. I she she gave me a book. It's only it's only fair. Yuri seems the most experienced, uh, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Mm. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um Oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? What you trying to say, Yuri? Yeah? Why you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri bears her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, 
they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. And the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. When Shiri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There is so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably one of the most challenging parts. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Oh, poor Yuri. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? You ready? Ghost under the light. The... I have no idea what that word is. This is going to be hard. I can barely read this. Okay. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the ember amber glow bathing it must be this one the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future i bathe claim claim calm breathing air of the present but living in the past the light flickers i flicker back i'm gonna reread that ghost under the light the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing it must be this one the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time the last yet to be replaced by the s sickening blue green hue of the future i bathe calm breathing air out of the present but living in the past the light flickers and i flicker back that was a nice poem <laughs> um I, i'm sorry i have such terrible handwriting i'm not gonna disagree because i did i didn't know a thing i didn't know anything that was on i i could barely read it okay <laughs> What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Yes, you were. But it took you a long time to read. Wait, was this like actually to- Wait, what? Please don't tell me this was actually timed. It was- Okay. I just- I can't comprehend because I'm a little- I'm a little- I'm a little dumb, okay? I swear. <laughs> ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. There it is. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Poems? Who am I? <laughs> Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild Is that so stupid? <laughs> something easy to digest i suppose are you into ghost jury <laughs> i don't know how to do that her <laughs> her you know where that's from best friends <laughs> actually the story isn't about a ghost at all jasmine <laughs> really I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. I read it twice. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. 
they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. I'm gonna pick... Sayori, I guess. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Jasmine. Uh... I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez, Yuri's opinion was always more constructive than this. Maybe even not Suki's? Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Jasmine poem. And that makes it extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm just really happy you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you are really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Jasmine. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things, like this for new people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, this is Sayori's. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> Sayori. This is just a guest, but did you wait until morning to write this? No, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It just came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? Is it bad? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Okay, I think I want to show, I think I want to do Monica last, just because, like, I don't, because why not?
They always start with like little dots. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your taste? Do, <laughs> Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Okay. This is not suitcase. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. It's good. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even make take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I, I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Well, the only person to show my poem to is Monica, so... Monoko. Hi, Jasmine. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or other things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Jasmine. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yep, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Okay. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that might be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you? Sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You're sure you're not reading it into it too much? Mm hmm I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. <laughs> but in any case, they always writing a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she's likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone could so happy could enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the key of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little 
bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always hope you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. O okay, long poem, Monica. Hole in the wall, it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spa spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My rent, my rentals, <laughs> my retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of a meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. I need cookie bites to, to comprehend this. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. Is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say that it has some kind of... Infinity recently? It's been influencing my poems a bit. An infinity? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you write a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on the specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay guys, so that's where I'm leaving it. It's a, it should be a little longer than the last one, so. But anyways, if you liked it, leave a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. El Famioneos is homie nominos. You look much better.